What's going on, my favorite people? How are you? Explorers all over the world. I love you all. I've got a really cool spot for you guys today. I'm out in the middle of the bush here. I've got a couple barns here. That's what I like better than the actual house. I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. But as we're walking up here, there it is. Big old boy sitting right there. You guys are gonna like it. It's a maze of a house. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no vandalism. There's not much stuff left behind. It's been abandoned for about eight years, I think we heard. So we're gonna jump right in there. Let's get exploring. show you guys something funny when we came here to check it out there was a window open so I grabbed a piece of wood I propped it up so that I could climb into the window which I did and the way the window's so small and I'm quite tall I ended up having to kind of drop down got one of my hands dirty as soon as I turned my head, what did I see? <laughs> this giant window open, which is a lot lower, a lot bigger, and it's even got a crate. We got some real nice old Sherwood wooden sticks, a couple goalie sticks, just a couple player sticks. This is a nice little shed though. They actually put a window on it. Now you can hear, you can hear a fire alarm going off. I'm not sure what Greg has done because it wasn't going off that loud before. All right, so we are in. Hold on one second. Okay, do you hear that? Silence? We've got no screaming uh, fire alarm going on. What's weird is I thought I just heard another beep. <laughs> all right. So this house might be a little jumbled again. It's big. It's all over the place. I'm gonna do the best I can to kind of make, make the video of the house makes sense but it's a little bit big look at these they've been crystallizing here since 2013 like that's pretty bad we've still got some deodorant there's always a few things left and this is a nice kitchen there's a couple kitchens because again there was two parts to this house we got a bunch of knives and forks in the pot. Look at that. Doesn't that look kind of newer? I don't see a date. If you can make out whatever that's supposed to be on the bottom. 2303, I'm not sure. But that seems newer. Still works. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Sorry about the mess on the floor. Okay, so when I came in here, on this nice little beautiful wall over here, I thought that was silly string. Turns out it's not. It's <laughs> that Gillette shaving cream. Alright, so Greg's over there exploring. So we're going to check out this part. We're going to do over here first. Big giant kitchen. This is going to be the second part of the house. I'm hearing something beep again. <laughs> but at least it's not going crazy like the other one. That's pretty cool with the birds. Now this paper here, it's got uh, May 10th, 87. But this place, it's only been abandoned since about 2014. So I'm not totally sure where that came from. <laughs> so the basement here, luckily is just one basement. So we don't got to go through that hole. There's another, there's another entrance way. 
And that's weird, eh? A little hole in the stairs just so you can kind of peek through. I don't get it. Just a little storage room. Probably would have had your washer and dryer. Still got some nice tile going on. The old light's beautiful there. The nice blue. It's funny, there's two. <laughs> so close. And this is weird too. I'm not sure if this place might have been used as some sort of a business at the tail end of its life. I don't totally think so, but there's always that possibility. There's a few things around here that seem to seem to point that way. Husqvarna. Some nice crates. Would have had a wood stove here, all bricked off nicely. And a giant ashtray. There's no power, there's no water in this house. Thankfully, because it's not in a it's not in good condition at all. That's a little weird. Oh, and it comes out too. A little remote, you can walk around with your house, turn the lights on and off or dim them. <laughs> that looks new and like kind of high tech, but I guarantee you that is still an early 2000s product. So I guess from here, since this is just pretty much a kitchen and a room, we'll film all in one going right upstairs. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, see? This little hole that leads into your kitchen. I don't totally understand what that's for. You can just go the extra two steps and see everything. So this is where I ran to at the beginning. Right there is where the fire alarm was. It's sitting right there now. When I leave, I will be putting it back together. Batteries and all. Just in case anything happens. Leave everything how we how we found it. And it it's a little rule, right? But sometimes rules like that make things a little bit more fun because it keeps you engaged. You have to actually do things. Sure, we could just come through here, not break anything, be polite. But the fact that we close the doors back up, that we turn the lights back off or put batteries back, just adds an extra little bit just to keep your mind occupied and that is a great wonderful thing the angled roofs going on that's always nice to see these old wood floors eh? there's no sneaking around maybe like when they were first put in way back in the day they might have been brown law firm Let's look away for a second. All right, that's not even this address. <laughs> it's actually not anywhere near this address. That address is right near my house and I am not near my house right now. I've, I've done everything near me. <laughs> now I've got to travel far. Kelly and Sons, we got a key hanging out. Big old room. I almost thought that that was opening to another room. That would have been cool if this place was twice as big, but it's not. So we've got a bunch of these weird bulkheads just built in. And now, like, what's this? A little fabric pad that goes all the way across. Like, you'd see those in a movie theater or something, right? Like, uh, I don't understand. This floor is getting a little sketchy, making some weird noises. There's a sign of a squatter from back in the day. They were covering up the windows before they got kicked out and this place got boarded up. But like everything's made out of wood panels. That's a little way you can tell the age as well with the stucco on wood. Then you got a closet, got a few books. Violent, all blue. Violets are blue, sorry. Lord have mercy. Very cool. I always like seeing books, you know that. Oh. 
And still a little bits of detail from life. It's always good to see that. Now, is that it for the upstairs? But just the one half. We've still got another half of this house to check out. So we came down those stairs there. We're gonna go back out this way to the little kitchen to where we came in. Yeah, and we looked in that bathroom there, didn't we? Perfect. We've got like a little built-in shelf with some accents. Again, they've got the wood panels on the roof. This will be your one of your front doors, possibly. Maybe a side door. That's a nice painting. Birch trees and a little bit of a forest. Now, so when we came in here, there's a little bit of a bad smell. And I'll just show you guys now. It's this dude here. We got a rabbit in the house. Doesn't seem like he's been here long. It doesn't smell very bad. And he's not flatter <laughs> looking horrible. So maybe something just recently brought him in here and possibly we scared that animal away for the time being. But hopefully whatever killed that and brought it in here comes back to finish, finish off the job so it doesn't go to waste. That's pretty cool. I almost thought that was part of the flashlight, but no, they've got the room painted half green, half blue. That's very cool. Here we got the way to the basement. Remember I was saying the basement's all one room. So we will be. It's weird how this door is so stuck. I just wanted to see if possibly that that hook was gonna work, but it did not. It's got these big giant old school locks to it. <laughs> that and look, the way that this was cocked off, this was obviously two people were living here because they didn't want to be able to get through that door. That's actually very interesting. So they turned this house into two houses. Maybe one was the house and the other side was a building or a, a business. We were saying that's what it kind of started to seem like. A card condom. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't see how that would work. We got over here. Let's take a peek. Some random computer stuff. More wires over here. Well, that's pretty cool. They had this thing all rigged up to be a little computer, computer area. Nice big wood all through this house. All around the doors, the big doors. Got a wire trapped around the foot. That's starting to go a little gross, eh? A little orange. Again, big wainscoting. Always looks nice. This will probably be your main door. Seems like these old farmhouse type houses always come in to raid at the front door. There's Greg messing around upstairs. What's happening, everybody? Check out his channel, Uncapped Films. Like them, okay. subscribe them. Here we would have had a nice beautiful wood stove. Got plants not doing too well anymore. Just need a little bit of water, come right back. <laughs> but see, this is the second kitchen here. So there's definitely, definitely something going on with the two houses. Like that blue is still vibrant and new looking. You know what I mean? That looks like that was painted three days ago. And I can see Greg, he went looking through the shelves because they weren't open when I walked through here before. So I'm guessing the only ones open are gonna be the only ones that have stuff. We could take a little peek. Just candles, screws, old pennies. We got a little, little Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> Some earrings. That's pretty neat. What do we got behind this door? Just a little pantry. Just a little shelf. You can hang up little things. 
a real short coat. <laughs> Very cool. So that's this side of the house. But then from here, we've got a whole another section of upstairs to check out. All right, so we are going to make our way up these stairs here to the second upstairs area. <laughs> Look, they got a string set up to the lamp or to the light <laughs> so they could turn it off from on the stairs downstairs. Again, there's not much left in the house, but it's it's just such a big house. The layout's beautiful. All the, everything made out of wood. There's no, uh, nothing broken. It's such a very cool spot. Couple more lights. And a bathroom. Looking quite yellow now. Ooh. bathroom area this panel here I guess somebody realized that it came off but all that's back here is a couple pieces of wood an old sleeping bag and then this room here you know maybe this was his little room he was growing his weed in so he had it hidden because there are little bits of evidence that something happened with all the grow lights and so maybe maybe that was his hidden spot there we looked in that big room let's see what's going on down the hall whoa i don't know if you guys heard that but this section of floor i don't know if it gave out underneath the carpet right there but like i just sunk like an inch my one foot the way that moved Oh, Lord. <laughs> it almost made my stomach go up into my throat. That's some old wallpaper there. That's really cool. Old elephant, lion, kangaroo. This place is getting pretty rough. Just that one little accident through the floor there. That's not giving me good vibes. Little makeshift light. Nice old furnace. It's got an empty closet. Little heat thing going through. So I guess what was there? A fireplace downstairs? Must have been. I got a key, a couple maps, <laughs> some nice old tile. That's really cool. I like those colors. A nice pastel look. What's this here? Looks like something. Uh, see, like it's. It looks like it's supposed to be like a a pencil was stabbed through a person. Just a little Halloween gag. See, yeah, but that's a pretty cool upstairs. And the fact that there's two of them, that's very cool. Now we gotta check out the basement and I give you guys a heads up. It's only about four feet tall, tall and it's, it's horrible down there. So Greg just went down. We're gonna go in pretty much right behind him. We're going to hear a few different voices. Well, two different voices. As the stairs the shake around. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, look at this. Double the lights makes it a little bit brighter down here. Brandon's down here too, so his lights are going to light things up a bit. See, they got nice flamingos and everything painted around. Old, old windows. <laughs> I've seen these old wooden like toolboxes. And that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Uh oh, we got some beer spilling. 
But yeah, I love those old wooden tool boxes. They're very cool. Oh, so good thing I stopped. I almost just walked through this whole line of like, look at that. That's not even just one cobweb. That's a full, a full wall going all the way. And then this guy right in here. Yeah, that's nuts. There's so many cobwebs down here. It's horrible. But at least it's painted nice. <laughs> We've got a smashed up TV. Some tires. It looks like a cellar door entrance. Down that way, it's just your electrical boxes. An old wheel. Now, there's a couple different ways to go. I'm going to check out this one. We've got the old... Uh, Old salamander. This big old machine. And then you come through here. You gotta duck again through that little door. Hey, look. A little fingerboard. I loved those. They were very cool back in the day. Alright, so I'm just gonna squat down here. Because I'm just too tall for this area. Those are pretty nice. Too bad they're broken, but they got that old pink. And that was from... Oh, Lord. I said I was going to remember, but I can't remember his name now. When some guy ran for Senate, his wife wore a pink dress. And that made it, that made it big. Eisenhower. I think Eisenhower was the guy. And he was getting sworn into Senate. His wife wore a pink dress. And since then, that's been the way. That was the hot thing in the 50s. And thank you for letting me know. You know who you are. Bunch of old tools. Old paint and a bunch of glasses. Looks like maybe some newspapers or something up top. Okay, so through here, back over this way. We had this one more room over here. The room where Greg's hiding out in. What's going on, brother? What's happening, dude? There you go. <laughs> now this room's a little bit taller. Pretty neat that they've got that whole machine plasticed off. They cared about that. Nice, beautiful brick all the way around. Got some real old speakers. Looks like they've been underwater. I don't think the fabric would be that gone if it wasn't. And this is it. This is the basement, I told you. It's a bit of a mess. It's one of the shortest basements I've ever been in. That's why I'm kneeling down again. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to make my way out. And I'm going to see you guys upstairs. All right, explorers. So, there's the house over there. I just wanted to show you guys a bunch of the property. They've had a bunch of trucks come and dump a whole bunch of garbage off. This house is gigantic had a section built right this is the original part that's the new part there it's a cool house property so overgrown you got to check out over here there's a barn and you can tell that it was used as like a kid's playhouse or a kid's fort Watch out for the birds, everybody. Yeah. Sorry about the sun. It's starting to get that time. Sun's going down and it's only 3 o'clock. <laughs> Look at this beautiful. Overgrown. Big old barns. I love it. All the old signs. Uh, 
right. So we've got this barn. There's not much to it. Just used as a workshop. Could have maybe been a garage because it's got the big door. But not much going on in here. A little bit of garbage. But over here. Oh, this is the prize. <laughs> so we've got a bin. It's full of some tires. These are both empty. As you can tell, they're falling down quite good. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> An old bike hanging up for some reason. Makes a nice little piece of decor. But this house here, this little makeshift barn. A little peek in through the window. Look at that. It's all set up. The door opens, so we don't have to look in through the window the whole time. <laughs> look how cool this is. We've got the names going on up here. Got the flags. Got a really cool old radio. There's a bunch of hockey sticks around this property. All the couches and chairs are flipped over. Like they even padded off this so they were okay. Wouldn't hit the heads. All the flags. I noticed too that this right here, this is all a pool table. Somebody smashed it up. You can see the pockets and the slate for it and the felt. As well as over here, we got this beautiful old barrel. I really like that. I wonder what they were using it for at the time. Because they obviously were doing something cool with everything in this room. Look at that. Like, would you not hang out here? They even got nice art on the wall. They got no dumping. <laughs> like, very cool. And then check this out. You got your BMX, right? So I guess maybe it's not a skate park. Maybe what it was, was a little BMX ramp. I'm pretty sure at one point it would have been finished. As you see, you got your your half pipe on this side. And then over here, you got your stairs to climb up onto your little post. You slide down, well, ride down. You go from there, all the way up onto those ones. <laughs> That's cool. In the roof of a makeshift barn slash house, we've got an indoor BMX ramp. And it's got all these street signs. I like that. A whole bunch of grow lights. Big, expensive HP. Look at those, eh? A good 80 bucks a pop. We got a roller blade. Some clothes. Some lights. But again, is this not cool? Got a little board there. Maybe they could keep track of score. Whoever's doing better. Those grow lights might just have been to keep this barn lit up instead of these gigantic, like, eight-foot lights. But they could also have been used for what they're meant for. I do not know. A little bit of a mess out the window. Let's take a peek at that. Somebody threw a couch out. We got another chair. Oh. This gimbal likes to move on its own, so if I move too much, it fights against me. But I'm getting it figured out. What an awesome barn. Like, this is so cool. We got a BMX park up in the roof. <laughs> then we got this party room down here. Like, that's just amazing. So cool. Whoever was living here was lucky. Yeah. Dean Markley. Bronze acoustic strings. <laughs> Very cool. I really like this place. So they had all the other dump piles I showed you up front. 
And then here's where all the garbage was dumped. We got a pool, a whole bunch of couches and chairs. There's a fridge. This is an upside down hot tub. There's a big freezer. See, so people came and dumped all the garbage at the back of this property. Like a bunch of animals. I don't like it. All right, explorers. I hope you guys enjoyed that. What an awesome house. The house was cool. It was big. It was beautiful. So many rooms. I like it when it's a maze like that. No, no uh, spray paint, no vandalism. That's always good. But this barn, like this is so cool. I'd hang out here right now, chill for a little bit before I go home. It's, I wish as a kid I had my own barn that had couches and a pool table and then a half pipe upstairs. Maybe they weren't just kids. I'm sure they could have been teenagers with everything going on, but what an amazing spot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved it. I'm gonna keep popping them out there. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for your comments, for the love, for the views, for the support. Catch you all on the next Explore. Ciao. Oh. No, I'm done. Fuck, go. Go to the other side. Will you follow or will you leave? Will you be lions or will you be sheep? We are the very ones that we need. We hold a piece of the universe, indeed. of the universe.